It's too early to uh, do anything crazy with your dynasty rankings. We will be adjusting those about week five. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment below to uh, get all that jazz. Uh, but we all know that secretly we're sliding guys around right now in our heads and seeing if it proves to be right uh, throughout the season here. Uh, so let's confirm some biases and, and talk about some people who are skyrocketing or plummeting in value here because it's week two and we know we must react. And that's what you jerks want. So we'll give it to you just like X. <laughs> the rapper, not the not the site, either one or the uh, the drug. Yeah, all, all of the above, sure. <laughs> um, the the fentanyl thing's getting weird, but fentanyl die. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's comedian made a joke of those. All right, well let let's st let's start off with some quick hitters, and we'll go with some and and these these guys are heavy hitters, and let's just see early quick gut reactions here. C D Lamb moving ahead of Jamar Chase after Chase fumbling around and CeeDee Lamb having a great week two, just a target hog. Thoughts, KJ, you're, you're shaking head. Quick reaction. It's week two. Let's, yeah, let's overreact, that, uh, baby. That, what do you got? <laughs> I'm sad that I put ARSB ahead of him. Uh, the Sun God, I think that it was just very close coming into the season. Um, I still think they're very close, but I put CD ahead, uh, which I, I think is probably something I – probably should have done ahead of time, just uh, showing kind of the offense, bringing in other playmakers. Uh, so there was obviously going to be some more target competition. I was just more scared of the play calling that was going to be happening in Dallas. I thought they would be a little bit more run centric, which, which they kind of are. And there's definitely feeding Pollard in times, but CD is that dude. I mean, yeah, so he, he's back up for me. Uh, I, I'm not mad about anybody buying high right now either. CD or chase. Ooh, I'll still take Chase, man. Yeah. I, I think it, I'm going to get burned, but I, I, I can't walk away from Chase even after two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Uh, right. The hardest it's part Chase. is with the it's burrow Chase. injury. Yeah, well, it's week two. We'll stick with Chase, but CD on them heels. He's on that ass right now. Silly question. I mean, I guess the better question would be: Has he moved into that top tier? He's moved. Well, I, I think he's he's ha he was hanging out right outside of it yeah. to start for me, and I think yeah. he's kind of he could enter here. He's just if if more of the same keeps up and he can have games like like he just had you know, every other week or every third week and then be pretty steady. Otherwise, I think he enters into elite, you know, territory there of being a, a hog. And uh, basically all this game in a tough Jets defense went through CD and, and Pollard and a, and a little bit of Ferguson there. So no Gallup sightings, really. Um, and, and the Jets D was was ferocious week one and week two. I mean, they, that, they, for them to come up so big, uh, the Jets D, it was a huge, it was a big Sauce letdown spot. Six two. Um, that's, you know, very common in like the betting kind of world you got up emotionally and, and got that game this is a big letdown spot for them so i expect the jets defense to bounce back and you know it was nice to see the cowboys offense have to operate this week last week against the giants we didn't have to really see that offense do much um which you know that's why i think you didn't see a great game from cd week one it was, still didn't kill you uh week two i think that's more of like what you're gonna see is just him being a monster so i would say in the tier now with potentially with chase but hasn't passed chase for me week two you know you, you don't like it it's still no. early man no <laughs> old old mccarthy's cousin over here doesn't like it doesn't like it <laughs> all right how about uh how about burrow any concerns with burrow we we was is there plummeting value with burrow a little bit we're getting concerned about it if someone if someone's we, trying to get out on burrow right now i'm all in for that i would definitely this put is the time in for burrow for okay sure so nobody's don't come, don't come sniffing around me for that because nobody's scared not. yeah Nobody's scared. He's not healthy. Okay. He's not healthy. You know, I, I, he was healthy in this game I, for most of it. Ah, he's not healthy. He's not healthy. Yeah, I'm not happy that, that the cost you got him. You know what I mean? You paid a really high capital pick, and he's not coming through for you. They I mean, that's always the worry, right? They yeah. should have sat him. They're yeah, letting right. him get in his own way here because he doesn't want to sit. He's got all his money. He probably wants to prove it. They should have not played him. A lot yeah, of, a lot of uh, Peter Parker uh, memes out there with with Joe Burrow turning into Andy Dalton after getting paid. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. yeah, they should have just put him on. They should have just sat him out the first four, four first games four. and just tried Chase, to. Chase tried to tell him. He said, "Why don't you just sit out for a while, Bubba? We'll be all right." Yeah. All right. So not not a ton of concern, but I feel you a little bit, KJ. That's why I brought it up. All right, one more quick hitter, and then we'll kind of get into maybe a little bit more longer form on some of these. How about uh, Devonta Smith passing AJ Brown? Uh, in in your wide receiver rankings, no sir. Quick no, no. I mean, quick no over happening. there. AJ mm -hmm. AJ, um, you know, fourteen points and six points in the first two weeks. Wide receiver thirty eight. Devonta Smith, wide receiver seven. They're, they're around the same targets. Uh, Smith about seventy more yards than 
AJ Brown right now, and he has the two tuds, uh, so that's making a difference. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Squeaky wheel gets the grease here. I yeah, mean, he uh, was yeah. he was very upset. He was uh, about his utilization as he should be. I, I think that this is going to be an overcorrection next week, and then we could talk about it. Uh, new, if that new OC may be favoring easier Smith matchup. with different matchups. I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't. I'm not saying I would. I'm not flipping those guys yet. But Devonta Smith was always a really good player. But it's 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 close. Oh, shrinking gap. It's shrinking a little bit. And no, he I feel like is. Go ahead. He, he's you know probably the best number two in the league. It, uh, I have a hard time saying he's not. It's him so. or T T Higgins. Yeah. Or Puka, it's hard to say right now. Puka Nakua. <laughs> Puka, once, Puka, once Cup get out of here. Back. Well, Cup could be the second best wide receiver then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the second best name trajectory, two. Puka Nakua. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know, just want to throw some quick, fun, bigger, big dogs out there. Bigger. Want to start with with Pittman here with a little bit, maybe a little bit more conversation. I feel like there was some concern coming in with. Anthony Richardson and and being a rookie and maybe not the most accurate and yada yada yada, but the the two weeks I mean we're seeing Pittman just be and we, we're seeing Pittman be what we want Drake London to be. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me that I was right. Him about, out. I think what you, I think the word you're trying to say is Matt. You were right about Michael Pittman. You were. I mean, you've been not that any of us have been down on Michael Pittman, but you were certainly the leader in the clubhouse of uh you know. Paying for some massages for Pittman for sure, um, and definitely would give him a happy ending. So, you know, what? I, I'm, Took I him can't do the dashboard concert, right? Yeah. Basically, He's what not that quite means. there yet for sure. Um, so it's an inside joke. KJ Matt weirdly loves dashboard confessionals. So if he really likes someone, he might take him to the concert uh, just for a little backstory of what the fuck that is. Currently, there's only two people going to the dashboard concert: Saquon and, and Saquon Miles and Miles Sanders. Sanders. Yeah. So is is Penn State is Pittman skyrocketing up? Up, up a couple rounds here. He was like around fifth ish, sixth ish uh, ADP. <laughs> I mean, if I was taking him, it was FIF fifth, fifth but for sure. a lot of people, it was probably sixth. sixth. Maybe floating into seventh. Is he is he hopping up here at all? Oh, absolutely, he has to. I, I I will say that his targets were kind of paltry coming into this week uh, with Richardson in, and then skyrocketed once uh, you know Minshew Mania started again. Uh, so I am kind of keeping my eyes on that if this is something that is still possibly going to fluctuate. But he had a great week one with Richardson, so it's it's hard to really stay right now. I think that he was definitely worth the cost of admission. Um, five, I, six, I wish I had more. Five, yeah, six, just and to even now. Would you would you swap if you could swap Pittman? For, I think it's pretty easy at this point. But Quentin Johnston all off season was somewhere around Pittman. You would swap swap that for sure right now, right? Got to mm. uh, win now. I might up. hold Pittman. Well, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. We're we're going the opposite direction. We're saying you would move, you would sell Quentin Johnson to get into Pittman. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. sure. Right? Okay. That's not how you phrased it to begin with, because you, you're the worst. Would you, you are the worst? Question. You're the worst. <laughs> would you Would you sell Devonte Adams to get into Pittman? No. No, you're sticking with Devonte. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, I think I would. At I this think point. I would too. I could. Um, I, I think I I think I. What about DK? Because no one's buying Devonte, you know. If you if you if sure, I mean that's a weird go, one. But, that's why. Yeah. But but DK is right there, the same basically age. I, I I think I like Pittman a little more than DK right now. But I'm I, I a little too, low on DK with them bringing in JSM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Any 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 anybody else that you uh, would you how about how about Jacobs? Would you swap? We talked a little Jacobs earlier, and if, if you're watching this video separate, we got Josh Jacobs. We had a little technical difficulty there with KJ, uh, but we we bounced back. You know that's what we do. I don't. I don't. Know. I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with Jacobs there, but I. I, I would too. Okay. If I could get a little something extra, I'd be down to move Jacobs. Yeah, yeah sure. Give me a fun a running back. Give me Jacob. What about Jacobs and Kyron? Or um, uh, I don't think you're getting Kyron right now. Guy's skyrocketing up right well, now. Okay, Jacobs and Roshan or Pitt. I mean, Jacobs and Pittman and Roshan. Pitt, Pittman and Roshan. Yeah, you're talking a little oh, bit. Bu- sure. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, one, one. I wanted to add uh, downs in there. It's not happening right now. I think we need a little bit more Richardson development, but they love him and the targets have kind of he been a good week one. Yeah, he's been hanging around. He's been out there a lot. So I, I, I think. You know, he's he's looking up for me and Granson's, you know, a nice little uh, 
Well, and we'll, we'll see what happens. I when really Jelani thought gets back. Pierce was going to be a thing. Yeah, yeah plummeter, plummeter oh. on Pierce right now. Yeah, it seems. Uh, but again, could be a little bit of development with Richardson. Richardson coming in and looking looking fine. Needs to stay in the game a little bit. But you know, the targets um, have been good for Pittman, um, even if not all catchable. So, all right, let's keep it moving here. We'll go shooting up the ranks here. I think skyrocketing value right now. And I think this is going to be near and dear to KJ's heart. And it'll be interesting to see your take. Jordan Love right now, QB2 overall, uh, coming in with a 23 and a 20 week, 21 points per game. Um, six TDs, no picks, uh, 396 passing yards, a passer rating of 121. Um, so, you know, out there, you know, doing all right. He's, he's, he rushes around a little bit, which is nice. He's got some floor built in, um, number one in fantasy points per drop back. Um, so obviously we're only in week two here. So what are we, what are we doing with this skyrocketing value of, uh, of Jordan Love? You know, it's not fair to ask me that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have a lot of Jordan Love, and that's where my my uh, my homerism, <laughs> if that's a word. Let it sure. fly, uh, baby. Let it fly. Uh, I, I'm not selling. I, I'm holding. I do. I have seen some, you know, obviously some advanced metrics where he had uh, very off-target passes. Everything is kind of what goes favor. He's doing this without Christian Watson, and now without this week having Aaron Jones as a safety valve. Uh, it, it's very hard to say what Jordan Love is really going to be even through two weeks right now, but it's looked great. And I mean, the uh, chain of events for Green Bay to have a Hall of Fame quarterback is right in place. So I think we're doing okay. <laughs> yeah. So would you, are you, 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 would you be buying more or are you trying to cash out? Anybody here saying we're cashing I'm out? It out. I, I really am. I'm feeling out managers because I know a lot of people are not going to feel it's sustainable. I, I think it is. I think he's relying on his play calling a bit, uh, which is something that Aaron Rodgers last year definitely seemed stubborn to do at times. Mm -hmm. And I think that that has actually benefited him. Right. So when Christian Watson comes back, I think it actually pumps up his ceiling and it doesn't hurt his floor, obviously, because he still has a little bit of a rushing baseline. And he still has weapons that he's willing to funnel the ball through. I mean, Jaden Reed had some serious pop this week. We can't be mad yeah. at that. Uh -uh. Um, well, like you said, he is doing all this. He didn't do it. He didn't have Aaron Jones this week. He didn't have. He hasn't had Christian Watson yet. Romeo was on a pitch count week one and, you know, had the two touchdowns. And we, we, just, we haven't even seen this whole offense be humming. I mean, Musgraves hasn't even really popped yet either. So, I, you know, I think I think, you know, we'll get to him a little later. I think he's a buy for us. Um, but um so I, I think, like you said, he's coming in there. He's doing what LaFleur kind of tells him. Well, well coached, well schemed. Um, Incredibly well coached and schemed. I mean, if anything, yeah. with Aaron Rodgers gone, it kind of lets Matt LaFleur spread his beautiful butterfly wings right. and do whatever the fuck he wants to do and not have to hear it from fucking Aaron Rodgers about what it is he wants to do. And look what's happening. Like the depreciated skill position players for them and Jordan Love is just slinging it around i thought they for sure would beat the falcons yesterday my bad but like some of these arm deliveries even he's got all these he's got some tools yeah. and some ability and you can see why they took him the, for, in the first round and he sat just like aaron Rodgers did behind brett Favre. i mean i, I was kind of in in the preseason and in the offseason like a little bit like I, well especially where he was going i mean he was going like the ninth round cheap enough in that, yeah. that whole scheme and it's like the, the, it's a good organization they draft well they coach well it's just right it's all good. And and you're gonna there will be some downs. You're gonna see some downs, and then there's gonna be I told you so's. And but you know, I think he's taking what LaFleur is kind of scheming up for him, like that little pop pass to Jordan Jaden Reed. I mean, you know, great Aaron way to Rob get him special. going and, and yeah. yeah, and get it and, and get it going. And and so I think I think um, you know, I'm I'm probably mostly holding on to Jordan Love and hoping that it goes up even more. Yeah. Uh because I oh, yeah. I, th I think there'll be some downs, but I think there'll be a you know a stretch here where you're like, yeah, this, this guy's this guy can play. I think, I think we got it. You know, we're, we're all right for, you know, I think eight, nine games in, we'll be saying, and then, you know, we talked about it in the last video, Jordan uh, Fields is over there in, in his, you know, third year of playing a decent amount. And, and, you know, you're not seeing, they battled week one and it just seemed like uh, love was kind of taking what was given to him and making the right plays big on third downs. And, and Fields was, was quite the opposite. Now, obviously love sat for a minute, but still he, he's just really starting to play. You guys would all take fields over love heads up, but imagine the piece that you could get right now, still with these two weeks on top of love to swap with fields. 
what if these trajectories continue? Right. And when, and we just to a to an a first for Fields, you know, I mean, maybe maybe we can get love a first and something else, you know. Oh, absolutely. So uh, you know, I, I I don't I don't hate it at all. Um, all right, let's keep going real quick. I got to give shout out to. Uh, it's 360 Olympia, but the zero is the O, so it's really 360 Olympia. But he said that Jalen Waddle is the best number two in the league, and I was like, oh yeah, fair probably. enough. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Um, it's it's Waddle and Cooper Cup. We're close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move to C.J. Stroud because uh, you said you had a deal that you turned down with with to get uh, to move from Stroud to Fields. Uh, Stroud out there. Really just putting it all together. Sands four offensive linemen, uh, which is ridiculous. Um, he's fourth in yards right now. He's without, and his, he's without the juice. Sands means without. Yeah. A juice Scruggs is one of them. You're right. <laughs> uh, fourth in yards with 626. He's averaging 313 yards per game. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Third in attempts with 91. Uh, fourth in completions with 58. Now he does have 11 sacks. Uh, you know, but I, I don't know that those sacks are created equal to Justin Fields' sacks because uh, look at what he's doing with the numbers. And now what I think is going to be cool about C.J. Stroud is I think you're seeing him week to week, like to have Baltimore in Baltimore be your first game, like, you know, and him hang in there and and be all right and then bounce back this week against the Colts. And, you know, they're not going to win a whole lot of games, but you're going to continue to see the development. His legs are good enough. He can move around. He's athletic. Um, we see this line maybe come back throughout the season and all of a sudden he's got a supporting cast that you're like, Oh, these guys are kind of fun. Uh, we got, you know, the veteran and Bobby Woods, who's, you know, Nico Collins is balling. Uh, tank Dell comes in this week, looking good. Uh, Dalton Schultz hasn't quite exploded, but he's been out there a lot. He's, he's getting enough targets. Damian um, Pierce is a warm body. Yeah. I mean, Damian Pierce is not Pierce. doing what you need him to do right now, but they're also down four offensive linemen and they're getting killed. So, you know, game script is going to keep, CJ Stroud, I think having to throw the ball a decent amount, I think they're going to stay. He's, he's going to stay up near the top of having to pass because they are probably going to be down a lot. Uh, and I think this is going to be a great year to, to develop, you know, Nika or uh, CJ Stroud. I, you know, I, I just don't think the Texans are necessarily as bad as everybody thinks they are, but they're probably end up not going to win a lot of games. But I don't think they're, they're not embarrassing themselves. What are your thoughts, KJ? We really didn't expect CJ Stroud to to really show this progression this early. Uh, I mean, I was saying that uh, Bryce Young was kind of the, you know, the the way ahead in tier for some people as far as Stroud and Young went. And I, I really didn't see it. I thought that they were very close. In fact, I thought Stroud may be more pro ready. The problem was that he went to the Texans. But now we're seeing that Nico, Tank, I, I mean, Bobby Trees, uh, and Pierce may actually be the better to build around um, kind of, you know, ecosystem for a QB coming in. I, I mean, the Panthers actually might be a little bit behind as far as things go. Bryce yeah. Young might have a tough time. So you could have actually moved down to uh, CJ Stroud and got East on top, and that's something you should have done. Um, man, Collins just looks so good. So it's, it's really hard to say um, because everything is definitely going his way, unless you're a Pierce manager. Yeah, right. No, that's not that's not great, but we can we can rationalize there a little bit. Um, no, but I, what I can't rationalize is Nico's usage. I don't. I don't understand that. Still, it, do, it does seem weird that they that they keep wanting to you know maybe take him out on some plays. But he he's been great. We'll hit we'll hit a little buy sell hold with Nico here at the end. Um, but yeah, Stroud really really skyrocketing in value right now to me. Um, what what quarterback would you swap in? Would you go from Stroud you know four even like how? What's the what's the swap out like? Is it Tua? I don't think you'll get that done. Yeah. Um, I, right now, Stroud is a firm hold for me. He's just looked so good. He really has. Just watching him, like uh, how he's actually approached the game, I, I think everything's there to be a staple in your rosters for years to come. I, uh, especially with them being content with moving future capital to to ensure that they got him and the defensive piece that they wanted. I, I think that he's somebody that they are very content with just building around for, for multiple years. So I, I am as well. Yeah, I, so big, big uptick uh, for CJ Stroud for me. Really liking what I'm seeing. I was probably Stroud and, and Young pretty much the same with slight advantage Young, but I've definitely flipped on that. And I think, like you said, the, the situation just seems like it's a whole lot more fun uh, down there in, in Houston. So um, really liking the weapons down there. And all offseason, it was buy, buy all the cheap receivers uh, in 
in Houston for us over here, and and it's it's looking good right now. So um, we'll see. I wish I got more Nico. Oh yeah, love loving some Nico right now. So uh, let's let's hit one more skyrocketing value right now. We'll go uh, Brian Robinson. Uh, is oh, yeah. is on fire right now, and the usage is really good. Um, so what are we what are we thinking for B Rob here? He's he's got thirty seven attempts. It's tied for fourth. He's seventh in yards with one hundred and forty six, uh, two TDs, uh, two point seven six yards per attempt. Uh, number eight in yards after contact with one hundred and two. Um, he's tied for seventh in ten plus yards or ten plus run yard runs, uh, fifteen plus or more. Uh, yard runs he's third with two um, and he's got 13 first down runs um, and then you know what what the crazy part is 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 you know Gibson's getting in there now and getting some of the role that we wanted Gibson to have but we got 37 attempts to five attempts with beat with Gibson and, and Robinson well and Robinson's mm-hmm. catching passes too right we thought all the ca- pass catching work was going to go to Gibson and it's not but even like some of the you know staple pat like to show you the role that we want Gibson to have are, are kind of there on paper it's just not, you know, what are we doing with Brian Robinson? What what do you do with the spiking, um, you know, value here, the skyrocketing up the ranks? I mean, I think you got to hold him. And real quick, KJ, I think we might be getting a little bit of a feedback uh, from your mic. I don't know. Are you are you hearing? Are you guys hearing that? Um, yeah, I'm getting something. Might try like muting, unmuting, or something, or unplugging, plugging in. Um, but. Uh, Brian Robinson. I mean, if you have Brian Robinson, then it's it's just like free money, right? Right. And yeah. I think I think you're just riding that train, right? I mean, you're not you're not. I get I get. It's not the raw. It's not the worst move to capitalize, right? I I can't be mad. You want to move him for something good, right? Yeah, for the right deal for sure. But I think I'm just like, I'm not out there trying to send out offers. Be a left league right. wiener. Yeah, it certainly does seem like he's he is in the you know realm of being a potential league winner. Um, would you would you swap Brian Robinson for Dotson, who hasn't really exploded on his team yet? If you could make that move from all Robinson day. to Dotson, would you do that? Yeah, yeah. all day. Yeah. Would you? I don't know about that one. You wouldn't trade. So, all right, that's I want to make sure we understand yeah. the question. You're not going to trade Brian Robinson to get Deshaun, De- Jahan Dotson. I'm trading Robinson to get Dotson. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the other way around. Yeah, Robinson, I, I will send for Dotson for sure. I, I thought I no worded one, that one properly. Why does no one ever know what you're talking about, Casey? <laughs> I thought I worded that one properly. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying. His answer, I'm like, no way, no way. But he meant what I what I thought. I mean, right now you you I mean, can't right now, you, you can't swap um you can't swap Brian Robinson for Miles Sanders, right? You got to keep Brian Robinson, or he's making that swap. Yeah, after. I don't think Sanders done anything tonight, which has been he was he was a huge buy for me this season, and he's done nothing so far. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know that that that's necessarily uh, something that I'm I'm interested in doing. The usage is too good now. It could uh, kind of balance back out, and you know, again, we're talking about week two here. We're we're having fun. We're getting excited about things. You know, teams are still figuring out things all the way through, you know, four or five weeks here about, you know, even some of the usage from week one to week two, we saw changes and fluctuations and they're trying to figure out who fits where um, and, and who does what best and, and then injuries, uh, you know, so all those things. Really all the running backs that were kind of in the range that I would want to go to are have all been kind of bust. Which Brian Robinson or Damian Pierce? Be Rob. I mean, it, I like Damian Pierce much more than B Rob, but right now there's no reason to do that. I, I gotta, I gotta stick with with B Rob right now. I think. Yeah. Um, how about Debo? What if you could go from B Rob to Debo? I'd rather have Debo. Yeah, that's a quick swap, right? Yeah. That'd be that'd be an easy move up. I think I'd hold B Rob right now with how they're scheming him up and and his utilization in the passing game that we really didn't expect with Antonio Gibson there. I, I think I'm holding. How about Ayuk? Oh, that I that I do. <laughs> so not for Debo, but for Ayuk. Okay. I think how about Zay Flowers? Those guys are all we're all kind of preseason in in around the same area. I think Flowers is probably he's he could be easily on the skyrocketing value right now. Came back down to reality a little bit, but I think um was a favorite of ours. Um so I would make that swap from B Rob to Flowers cool. if I could. Yes, I'd rather have Flowers. Absolutely. Over I'm adding Flowers at the cross. Okay. All right, uh, let's let's move over to some some fallers a little bit here. We had a whole a whole other list. We got Kenny Walker and Laporta and Hunter Henry and Ertz and uh, on there for for value up. How about value down, guys? Zach Charbonnet, uh, a little bit of uh, falling value here. Usage week one was terrible. Usage week one, week two got got in the mix a little bit on third downs uh, and a little bit more. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on Charbonnet? Would you trade Swift for Charbonnet? After a good week of Swift and two bad weeks of Charbonnet, if you could make that swap? No. I, I'm not doing it straight across. Uh, but if I get something on top, absolutely. Okay. What do you think? I'm sticking with Swift. You're sticking with Swift? Yeah, I want to move you're stick, up. You're sticking with Swift? For sure. Everybody's sticking with Swift? Yeah. For that. Okay. All right. I mean, what, I mean, I can at least consider playing Swift. I mean, Charbonnet's not even anywhere near a lineup right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it just... I don't know. I think it was encouraging that they showed his uh, versatility in the passing. Right. That this is something that we're going to see progress, but it, yeah, it's it's hard right now. Yeah, I, I I think I might make that swap uh, for 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 Swift and Charbonnet. I just I feel like they're they're going to work him in. I feel like it's uh, by the end of the season we're probably going to see a little bit more like what we thought. Uh, maybe being a little quicker, maybe. Um, is just like you said, encouraging to see him getting some passing work end of the game. Kenny Walker, who knows what's going to happen? You know, they are down two tackles right now. So, you know, it's probably the efficiency metrics guys are probably on Kenny Walker's ass again, even though he's putting up fantasy points. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, Seattle lost two tackles uh, off the rip. And, and we'll see if if and when they get those guys. They back. signed Jason Peters. Oh, yeah. So the problems are fixed. <laughs> um, so, any is there any anybody else? Are you trying to you, you everybody feel okay about Charbonnet? Or are you you regretting your decision on Charbonnet? Got to be regretting it a little bit. I mean, I not mean, in a rookie draft. Those the people who are wanting him to produce right out the gate, who are just like Barry and Kenneth Walker, but he was always going to be the lead back until we saw something out of Charbonnet moving forward. But it's going to be a split. It's just how does that progress as we get into like week six? Yeah, I, I agree there. All right, let's keep it moving right, to some you. fallers here. How about Alexander Madison? Really falling out of good graces here. I think for me, this is like, I don't know who came in and thought that that Alexander Madison was going to come in and crush, but I think he's basically like in on the all fine team. Like, I think he's fine. I think if he gets the usages, he'll be good. I think the first two weeks, you just saw, I mean, the Bucks just held the uh, only thing that the Bears do in check, including Justin Fields. Um, or the Bucks rather, and then week two he got the Eagles D line. You know, I, I I think that was you know a bit of a, a bummer for for Madison. Week one he saves it with a touchdown. I think better you got a better schedule coming up for Madison. You, I, I think he'll be just fine uh, to be able to play here throughout the next stretch of the season. Uh, but I, I don't know who was really expecting him to come out here and and be a you know a, a borderline RB one or some shit. Like you know I, I just I find it crazy that. Any, I think anybody who hated and didn't want Madison to, to, to do good is and look, he looks exactly what you thought he was going to be. He's not anything special. He does. He does exactly what you think he's going to be. He's Jamal Williams. You know, I, that's, yeah, that's the kind of the way I, I that's the way I look at it. Harsh there, Jim. <laughs> I, I would I would I like Madison more than than Williams for me. Um, but, you know, I, I, I had no use for Jamal Williams this year. Um, none. Uh, Madison was a little more interesting because of what the usage could be. And I think that all the, all the well, we're seeing the offense score points. That offensive line has also been banged up through the first two games. Um, so, you know, I, I think there is a little bit of, hey, we can rationalize why Madison hasn't been outstanding through two games. Is he awesome? No. But is he is he fine? I think so. And it's not like Chandler's come out there and been awesome either. So it's not, you know, I just I don't think. Uh, I think Madison's that's going to be his role for most of the season. And I think it's going to be just fine. I think he'll be better than what he's been thus far. So I would probably if I can if I can get him on a, a little bit of a discount, I I would be interested in that, especially on a com- again on a competitive team. Yeah. KJ, looks like you I, I can't tell which way you're going here. No, no, not having it. Uh, not he, having he was what we thought he was. He wishes he could be Jamal Williams, right? I mean, he needs to cash in TDs. Uh, to, to be usable, I think. I think that this is going to be a really tough go on a week to week basis for Madison. I mean, you say buy low. I mean, I'd be in depending on how low. But I mean, what do you, what are you really trading for him? Yeah, I think there's plenty of people who are probably just out out right now. So there may be some some potential get in and, and get yourself a, a you know a, a playable player here for the rest of the season. Because if next week if he goes for twenty. You know, that that window has now been erased and that's he we've seen it from him before. We've seen him score that many points. He's had very good fantasy runs. He's for sure better than Jamal Williams. I mean, if he was on the Lions last year, he probably does the same goddamn thing. You know, I just I I find it really hard to believe that that Madison is is a three point six 
point per game player. Um, I think we saw what he is from how he plays the game standpoint. I just, I don't think it's worked out for him uh, great with the first two matchups and having a banged up offensive line. Doesn't have a great schedule. I mean, this could, I mean, with their defense especially too, uh, th- this could be something that you're seeing on a more weekly basis than you think. Uh, I, I mean, they have great pass catchers. There's no reason not to feed them. And the running game does go hand in hand with that. They have to keep defenses honest. But uh, we haven't seen anything really encouraging besides when he's come in in spot starts where there wasn't really anybody to game plan against to a certain extent like last year uh i mean everybody thought it was going to be dalvin cook and then when he came in sure he did great because we've seen that with backup running backs when defenses really don't pay you any mind i wouldn't i wouldn't even say great i i'm i'm with you with i think that he is what we thought he was i just think he's better than what he's been doing is more or less what i'm saying well it's hard to say he's worse (laughs) sure but i i think he's I, i i i think he's i think he's better of course he's not he's not any worse um but, you know, I, I, I have a hard time thinking that that he's not going to get you, you know, 12 to 15 on average, uh, which is I'll take that all day long um, yeah. if I could. Some trade people for that. were really touting Actually, him this year. So I don't know I, who, I, though. I, I didn't know. really see anybody getting super excited about him. I mean, I think everybody knew what he was at this point. Right. I mean, I don't think you were hoping for 20 points a game. Were you? Right. I mean. Well, not me. Not you. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, I did see some people touting him against some other running backs that I took confidently ahead of him, even Rashad White. Um, I, I saw people uh, in, in more leagues than not actually taking him probably ahead of him just because of the offense is, as a whole, which I, I guess I get the process, but I, I didn't get the player. So, Well, I mean, Rashad White uh, hasn't hasn't been outstanding in what he's been doing right now either. Looked just, better this past week. Just definitely looked a little better this, this past week. Also dealing with some offensive line issues. Um but, you know, some of the inefficiencies showing up again with him. Great pass catcher. Um, you know, so I guess we'll, 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 we'll save Rashad White for, for another day. But, um, no, I mean, I think, I think we were all taking Rashad White over Madison all day, every day. I mean, I think you had to. Um, There's another guy I was taking over Madison, too, which clearly hasn't panned out. Who's that? Probably the guy who's probably next on your list. Kyle Pitts? <laughs> oh, no. Who's next? Rhymes with uh, Pam Makers. Oh, Cam Makers. Yeah, that that didn't that didn't necessarily the off work the field. Out, the off the field stuff is nothing anyone could have predicted again. Yeah, I don't. I don't. That, that's a that's a weird one. That's a tough situation to be in with with Cam Makers plummeting plummeting value with Cam. We can switch to Cam Makers. I mean, you, there's nothing you can do with Cam Makers no, at this point. You just right? have to hold on unless somebody. I don't think anyone's giving you anything right now. Is there any inkling of a buy for Cam Makers from anybody here? If I can buy them for like cheap, like if someone wants to, someone's give them up for like a third, I'll do that. I, th- I mean, I think you got to be. You could probably it. go get car- a Cam for a third right now. I already have him everywhere because I bought him when he got his tor- when 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 he hurt his Achilles, and I bought him for cheap then. What do you think about Cam Akers? I mean, sure, for a third, it's reasonable because I, if anybody's trading for him, they're trading for him to use him. Um, so, I mean, at a third, the cost is reasonable, but I, I'm not trading a second. That, I mean, that's right. really the cutoff. So, I, I mean, I was never in on Cam Akers, even with the surge late in the season, because I've already seen this coaching staff just absolutely doghouse him. Um, so I was just waiting for this to fall again. It, it, it sucks because I, I do think that he's better than somehow they've allowed him to be at certain times. But I, don't, I just don't know where he's going to go. I, I don't know who's going to trade for him with any kind of reasonable yeah, capital. I was just thinking that earlier today. Like, where, like, if I, like, where do I want Cam Akers to go? Like, yeah, I don't. I don't Indianapolis, know. but they already have Zach Moss popping off better than he did. So. Yeah, same with Buffalo. James Cook had a good week this week as well, too. So I'm just like, I don't there's I don't really know where he goes, where he can be like Maybe where? he goes to Cleveland now. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going I, on. I mean, yeah, Jerome Ford isn't it, so I, I guess so, but I think that they're gonna whoa, be. Whoa, whoa, why is he catching strays over here? Why Jerome Ford just catch some strays? It's not a stray. They just caught a stray out there. How do we know Jerome Ford's not it? We haven't even seen him. Yeah, he wasn't really good at Cincinnati. I'm going to call it now. Uh, he was fine at Cincinnati. Yeah, he was okay. I don't know. I'm, I, I like I like yeah. buying old Jerome Ford. I think he might be all right. I think he's like a warm and better complimentary piece. That's all it is. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, 